Um, I'm going to show you a technique that you can use to acclimate, to make a dog less sensitive to uh, things that move. This all leads up to training a dog to do the teeter. Or just anything, any, anything that might move. I can't think of anything. So, so what I've got here is I've got a rug laid out here. I've got a wooden purple disc here and one here. The purpose of the discs, I just picked large ones so you could see it. Typically, you would use a small bowl or a little flat target. The intent of the circles is to, that's where I'm going to deliver the treat. Treat. So I'm going to have, I'm going to prime the dog first. I'm going to put a treat there. As the dog walks across here, I'm going to put another treat here. Dog walks across, treat. Walk, treat. Walk, treat. So I'm going to get that movement. And the treat will do the reinforcing and tell the dog that she's doing the right thing. Um, then I'm going to take a platform or piece of wood, whatever you want to use, and I'm going to slip it under the rug so it raises the center of the rug up. So we'll do the same exercise again. Place a treat here, dog walks across, treat, walk, treat, walk, treat. Then I'm going to remove the platform and put a fit pause wobble board underneath. So it'll be the same pattern of walking across. The rug does a couple of things for the wobble board. One, it conceals it, and it also protects the dog from too much movement because the rug's going to stabilize it. It also protects the paws from getting caught underneath. So this is um, a young dog, Stormy, who has not done this before, and we will see how it goes. No leash, no collar. I'm using Swiss cheese to get her started. And then when it gets more difficult, I'll raise the value of the reinforcer to turkey. Once I get the forward movement, then I put the reinforcer down. not telling her to do anything. I'm letting the reinforcer be the communicator. I want her to think. Notice I have the cheese right in my lap. Oh, she noticed too. I'm not making eye contact with her. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna put her in the crate and I'm gonna put the um come here. So the only thing that's changed in the game is the fact that we have a platform underneath the rug now. Forward movement. toes up against the board so she doesn't cut the corner. Okay, so no problem there. So let me swap now to a wobble board. Come on, Gray. has a rubber mat underneath it so it doesn't slide. I certainly don't want the rug to slide. This is a small wobble board. I'm, I'm making sure that this front end is covered. And I'll probably switch to turkey now. I'm not luring. She has to move before the reinforcer is presented. Movement, present. Movement, present. Movement, present. Movement, present. Taking my feet off the wobble board. But I don't want her to cut the corner. So her hind foot is on there, so she's definitely making it move. So now I'm going to move my discs out so that she has to go more on a straight line to get the reinforcer. Straighten that up. Yeah. 
So if she goes around it, she doesn't get a treat. As simple as that. So if she went around that way, I just don't give her a treat. She's sure not going to get a treat stopping in front of me. Where were the reinforcers delivered? Over there. So not only is that rocking back and forth, it's also sliding, which is good. Okay, I am going to swap now to the larger wobble board. something. I don't want her to have any opportunity to go behind me. So I'll continue to use the higher value reinforcer of the turkey. toes are getting smashed now. You could put one of those rubber donuts underneath it if you don't want it to move too much. I have the large ball underneath it. I could also use a smaller ball. I'm getting all four palms on the disc. I don't want her to just put two front paws on and hop with the back. I want her to go across it. So now I'm going to put my toes underneath it intentionally to kind of slow down the wobble a little bit. I am not clicking. Okay, so that's it. I'm out of treats. <laughs> I'm not out of dog, but I'm out of treats. So hopefully something like that will help you. I did remove the rug there because I just felt like it wasn't necessary anymore. So um, hopefully something like that can help you with your dog's confidence on things that move. I also took some photographs of some other ideas that you can use, um, and I'll include those. Uh, later. Thanks so much. Hope this helps. Okay, girlie. Yeah, come here. Come on, let's get your break. <laughs> 